Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, for some reason my phone wasn't really cooperating with me as far as recording this one video. I tried several several times to to do so, but it's like every time it would start to restart or something of that sort, you know. I don't know if it's just simply something I said on my recording that kind of triggers something, or it's just something else entirely. Yeah. So, anyways, um, it was about 20 years ago was when, um, I started getting into the whole dream interpretation because of this one website called the dream doctor and he had a radio show at one point his name was uh, Charles McPhee he passed away about 13 years ago I think from ALS yeah so that was one of the things there. So, anyways, considering the the meat and potatoes of this video here is that, um, as far as all the stuff that's been going on lately, you know, with like, you know, impending World War. Three because of the conflict with Russia and Ukraine as far as that goes you know and considering the other uh, thing that was going on you know with the whole world economic forum like you own nothing and be happy as far as that goes well we you know have all those cars that pollute everything and down as far as that goes you know so anyways um the dream that i have is probably was in relation to it you know and it's not just that but it was also like the whole last of us series that i heard about and as far as that goes and how Tim Pohl was talking trash about it because he was taking certain things out of context, you know, to suit his own agenda sometimes, but, you know, that's one of the things there. So, anyways, um, this one dream that I had here... It starts off where I gone into the the house that kind of resembles like one of the neighbors' houses or something like that, and um, the people that were there were like overtly friendly to the point where like you know it could draw some suspicion in a way to some people, you know. And that's kind of like how I am sometimes, where I can be a bit suspicious of people who are just overtly friendly like that. Like they're trying to go out of their way to try to make a good impression on me. You know, that sort of stuff. And so, I forgot what happens there, because I think somehow I was off or something, and I pass out or something, and I think I was trying to get with one of those guys or something there and then something happens where where like I was getting like prepared for surgery or something like that against my will you know and then I was trying to like say dream say my name and wake up you know and they were like mocking me because of that you know because now it's like is getting real but then somehow it stops and then there was like these girls there that were trying to stop me for something and i was calling them out on something like how they're fake or whatever it is and and then 
something happens where I was encountering another person, and then towards like the end, where I was saying that the whole thing was terrible because it's like, you know, mixing up the different plots together and trying to make a good, uh, um, and uh, I mean post-apocalyptic scenario and blah 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 but it's it's kind of like that one um movie i forgot what was it called where it's making fun of those uh, survival horror movies where they where they try to do like different formulas and all that you know and that's kind of like how it is but it was one of those little things that um Tim Pole always talks about like how we're in a bizarro world or whatever it is, you know. And then it's kind of like the whole point of all that it's like bizarro world because you know, how come why my phone was like acting up and all of this, you know. And so anyways, I guess that's uh probably it. So talk to you guys later.